Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Remy Jade Astrology, and today we are going to be talking about the sun sign Libra. This was requested by my queen Sydney. This is for you. Um, I am excited personally to do this video because for those of you who don't know, my sun is in Libra. So let me just get started with this Libra video. Those of you or those of you who are dating or know somebody with their sun in Libra, by the way, I know usually my hair is down. It's just it's super hot and I braided it. So that's why it's nice and tucked and my fan is blowing. So if you see my shirt kind of moving around, it's because of that. Um, so those of you who have your son sign in, your son in Libra, uh, you are or these people are the people pleasers of the zodiac. These people can light up a room with their smile. I'm not trying to gloat or anything. This is just in general, what I've seen, what I've learned, what people have told me. Uh, these people um, could light up a room with their smile. They make everybody in the space feel comfortable. These are the mediators of the Zodiac. Um, they are the type of people who go up to a person who's in the corner by themselves, uh, not talking to anybody, not associating with anybody. And they're gonna bring them out and try to have them make, have a good time or make them friends with the other people. These are these people who bring people together. They are great planners. They are those type of people who will crack a joke just so everybody will feel comfortable. They have great comedic timing and they are just overall very charming. Um, in regards to their overall appearance, they are generally slim, but curvy uh, they are ruled by Venus uh, so their features are very soft and they usually have a dimple in their cheek or like right here or on their knees they're just very like cupid um, bubbly type of people and the way they look is just very soft and bright uh, these people articulate and converse with others very very well um, and they just make you feel safe and they can relate to every person in the room in, in, individually on a personal level and they are the shape shifters of the zodiac as I say so they can be with one person and act different they can be another person and act different but when they all come together they can be a totally different person the reason being it's not just because um they want to be fake they're not fake it's just they want to make sure that the person that they're talking to or associating with or communicating with um feel comfortable so they try to get at their level so they can fully understand them their phrase is i balance so they want to balance every situation um when it comes to you know getting the task done these people are not those type of people where they're gonna forcefully do it tell people you do this you do that you do that i don't know why i'm dropping my words today you do that um they actually want to know everybody's opinion collectively as a whole the reason being is because they do not want to see uh, they don't want others to see them in a bad light and they also want to do what's best uh, for the majority uh, they are also the people who root for those who are the underdog they are great motivators um, but on the side note they can be a bit lazy um, they can you know, when they're upset, manipulate the situation and make it into their favor. They're very good at that. Um, but in general, Libras are, you know, very kind people. They do think about others more than they think about themselves and it stresses them out. When they, after they do like a big event or they associate people, associate with supposed to be you know articulating very well but I don't know what's happening today they sorry there's a siren I live in LA uh, <laughs> after associating with people they like to you know take a breather or they need time to recuperate because it takes so much of their energy to make people feel you know safe loved 
accomplish they do all of that and multiple times in the day too so they do need downtime so if they are the party people you'll probably see a libra like take a step back or like not be in a function for i don't know what reason and it's hard for them to say no so they'll make up an excuse because they don't want to hurt the other person's feelings um in the bedroom and in sex uh these people like the virgo because they are kind of a close signs to each other um they are givers in the relationship and they just want to make their partner happy they are generally very good at sex they are ruled by venus the planet of love and they know the uh the exact they learn very quickly to know what their spouse or their lover or their boyfriend girlfriend likes in the bedroom so they're pretty good at it um, generally um, also these people when they do get into relationships um, they give their all and sometimes they can't create boundaries or they can't create expectations so they're almost always giving so much of themselves where you know they lose out so for those who are libras libra suns they need to learn how to put up boundaries and expectations because sometimes they do get advantage uh taken advantage of also those who have their libra sun um it is hard for a libra to let go in a relationship but once they do they're ready to move on to another relationship they are best they feel at their best when they're in a relationship because they are the scales, they need balance, they need another person. Sometimes they might seem erratic and all over the place, but it's because in their mind they're thinking about different ways of doing things. So in another person's mind who's a different sign, usually like a fire sign or an earth sign, they might see one way where a Libra can see multiple ways and multiple ways of fixing things. So this is just a general sign uh general of the libra sun sign so thank you for watching if you like this video please share subscribe comment and any requests um i am going to do if you leave a comment below so thank you for watching bye